everyone I'm so happy you're here today we are gonna have so much fun making this pop-up card this is the one we're making today but look how adorable that card is hi stampers this is Dawn and today we're gonna make this adorable pop-up card a big huge shout out to Melissa Stout I seen her card and she inspired me to make this card and then it went into this one so we're gonna make this butterfly brilliance card it's so beautiful and it pops up then I made this chicken one look at this so there's the chicken let's celebrate you and then you open it up and once again you can keep it open like that so they can see the inside as well as the front pop-up isn't that adorable okay so we're gonna be making this Bermuda Bay version with the butterfly so let's go ahead and get started Okay, so let's start with the Bermuda Bay. This piece is cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Then you're gonna need a piece of basic white and a piece of this beautiful, what is this paper called? This is the Butterfly Bayou, I believe is how the pr pronunciation of this designer paper is. But this piece is cut at four by five and a quarter as well as the basic white. And the basic white's for the inside and then this is for the front. Then you're going to need to make your mechanism, which this piece is cut at three by four, and we're going to score that together. And then this piece of Bermuda Bay is cut at three fourths by two and a quarter. Okay, so let's grab our paper trimmer. Okay, so let's score on this piece first. Remember, this piece is cut at three by four. So along our four inch side, I just want to double check. Yep, four inch side across the top. We're going to score this at one, two, and three we're going to take our three fourths by two and a quarter double check yep and then we're going to score this at one and a quarter right about there so i'm going to grab my bone folder and we're going to burnish these score lines so let me go ahead and do that So now the next piece is our base. So what I did is I went ahead and pre-cut with the Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. And what I did for that is I put the designer paper, this is the four by five and a quarter. I put that onto the Bermuda Bay, just like that. And then I ran it through the Stampin' and Cut and Emboss machine. Let me get those dies. Okay, so I used the stitched shapes dies and I put that right in the center. Now one tip I want to share with you is you're going to put your adhesive on the designer paper here. Let me show you exactly what I did. I took my stamp and seal and what you're going to do is you're going to put your adhesive only along the four sides. Then you're going to go ahead and put this onto our Bermuda Bay. Then you're going to take your stitch shaped oval. This is, I think this is the largest one. Then you're going to put that in the center, just eyeball it, and then run that through your die cut machine. Okay. And then what you're going to end up with is a piece that looks like this. This is the front of our card. And then this piece, remember I said to put your adhesive around the edges only because the center piece that I cut out. So then this piece, when you remove the designer paper, you can still use the Bermuda Bay, the circle, the stitched part right behind there. Okay, so that fits right in that cutout perfectly. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our basic white piece in the center. And then I also took and I cut out a basic white layer for that. And that's gonna be for the center of the front with the butterfly over that. So let's go ahead and put this piece into our Bermuda Bay piece. There we go. All right, now we're going to take our designer paper. Let me show you this beautiful suite that is available right now. So this is the designer paper. I believe we're pronouncing it as Butterfly Bayou. Maybe not. But this is the new designer paper that's in a collection. You can purchase all these items individually, but I wanna give you a heads up that the designer paper, along with this selection and the, it's like a wood grain, 12 by 12 pieces of paper, two of them. Those items are while supplies last. And then the stamp set, 
which we're not using today, but we're going to use this in the future. This Butterfly Brilliance and the designer paper along with the 12 by 12 wood grain paper that's available. And also the die collection, which is called the Brilliant Wings. This is a large die collection. It's so beautiful with those butterflies. So this is the whole collection. We're going to be using this one today, which I've already die cut out. So, but you get these butterflies as well for like a overlay, like for vellum or basic black or maybe even the Bermuda Bay. They're just so gorgeous. So let me show you this paper up close. Now this is the one that I went ahead and cut out with this die, which lines up perfectly with that. So I'm going to show you exactly what I did when I cut out the butterflies. So that's what I did. Then I ran that through the die cut machine. Okay, so that's all we did for the, the butterflies for this card. But you also get in this collection these other colors, which is that's the one we're going to use today. And then that one with the smaller butterflies. Clipso Coral, and then more butterflies with the rainbow. Isn't that beautiful? And then you get this one as well. And then this is the back side, like side two, I guess, to the collection. We made the Magenta Madness butterfly card in the glitter pit yesterday. So if you want to check out that video, that will be posted down below in the description, all right? So, but those are all the colors of in the designs of our brand new designer paper that's in this collection all right so then i went ahead and die cut all the butterflies out like i mentioned before so we're going to use i'm thinking i want to use that one but maybe this one because that's the one i didn't use on the other one so here's the one that i used on this one right here okay and then this one is more with the mint macaron, but it's so pretty with that designer paper, don't you think? I think I'll put it with the mint macaron one today. All right, so let's go ahead and make our little mechanism. Oh, yeah, and then there's, so you're getting like a total of six butterflies. This one, two, three, four, five, six, when you cut them out with that die. And I think I have five here. Yep, so I have five here. I used the other one for the magenta madness one that we made in the glitter pit. So we're going to use this one for the front and then maybe this one for the inside. Now I'm going to change this one up from the one that I made previously towards the end of today's video. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and make our mechanism. We're going to go ahead and take this three by four piece and we're going to fold this in half. Remember, you're going to burnish your score lines really nicely. And you're going to take your adhesive and put your adhesive on one of the ends just like that and you're going to flip that over and you're going to take the center of the opened card and you're going to eyeball it in the center of that oval shape but right there you're going to put it right up against that score line and you're putting the sticky side down okay so the only side that should be sticking down is that one inch score line right there that section okay then you're going to take this section here and you're going to run one strip of adhesive along that edge and then close up your card so then this is going to make your pop-up section of the inside of the card can you see that ta-da i love it and then you're going to take this piece now remember this is your three-fourths by two and a quarter and then we scored it at one and a quarter so you're going to fold this in half this side is going to be the shorter end and then the longer ends over here on the bottom so what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over to the longer side and we're going to put a couple strips of adhesive along that back side just like that then you're going to close your card and you're going to take this edge remember this top part is the short end can you see that so we're going to take this end right here and we're going to put it right up against that oval shape cut out just like that okay so then this is where we're going to put our oval onto that so let's put our adhesive on just that flap right here a couple strips of that then we're going to take our bermuda bay oval that we cut out the circle with in the front of the card and we're just going to attach that to that flap on the inside. So then when you open up the card, see how nice that pops up? Oh my gosh, Melissa, I love your card. It's so awesome. 
So when you close it, it actually fits into an A2 envelope. And then when you open it, it pops up and it stays popped up like that. Can you see it? I love it. All right, now we're gonna do some stamping. So let me grab my ink and my stamps. Okay, so we're gonna be using the Bermuda Bay. And this is the classic ink. And these are the two stamp sets. We're using the Hydrangea Heaven. This stamp set is so beautiful and I love all the greetings in the stamp set. So we're using this one. It says, you are capable of amazing things. Hopefully you can see that it's right there. But this stamp set is really beautiful. And this is also available in a bundle with some dies. And then we're also using You Make the Ordinary Extraordinary. And this is from the Simply Succulent stamp set which is also available in a bundle with the dies. So I have those stamps on some blocks. So we're gonna stamp this. You, I just wanna make sure I'm stamping it right. You are capable of amazing things. And what I wanna do with this, instead of my other one, I'm gonna center it at the bottom of the oval. The other one, I went to the right-hand side a little bit. So after I did that, I thought, well, I could have centered that. So I'm centering that one, and then I'm also not centering this in the middle or in the center of the card. I'm going to be pushing this off to the right-hand side, making sure I'm gonna be stamping this right. Let me just do a test run here. Yep, you make the ordinary extraordinary. And then we're gonna go ahead and stamp this over to the, to the right-hand side because I wanna put another butterfly in here in the inside of the card. So pretty, that saying. And it's print and then it's cursive -y. This one is too. Okay, all right, so that's all the stamping. So this is gonna be a beautiful card to make with these gorgeous butterflies. So we're gonna grab some dimensionals and I'm gonna put my, the mint macaron with the Bermuda Bay, I guess is that color. We're gonna put two dimensionals on the back of this butterfly. And then I'm just gonna attach this one. Oh, wait, I wanna put some dimensionals on the back of this basic white layer here too this is going to go on the front of that Bermuda Bay. So let's go ahead and put that on there. This is going to go right up here. Pops that up. And then pop this butterfly up. You can actually bend it up if you want, like the wings are fluttering. And we're going to put that right in the center. So then when he sets up, look how pretty that is. I love it. And then this one I'm going to put with the the stamp and seal. Now the closer you get to the center part of this shape of your, well, you can use any shape, but I'm using the ovals because you remember when you're closing this card, it does slide across the base of the card. So if you put like an image too close to this oval and it's not adhered down really nicely, it might catch it. So you want that to close really nice is pretty much what I'm saying. So I'm gonna put my butterfly, put adhesive really nice around the whole butterfly edge. I'm just gonna put another butterfly right there. So when the card is sitting up, you can see both of the greetings and then as well as the butterflies. So pretty. And then it closes like this. And then you can pop the oval through the oval and it kind of holds it closed like that too. And then you can also put a little closure there if you want it to hold it shut. So let me show you the other one so you can see the difference in what we did. Okay, so here's the other one. I used the different butterfly, which you can tell the difference there. And then this one, I was more over to the right, right? You can see I'm more centered on this one. And then on the inside, I'm center here, but I really don't have space to put the other butterfly like I'd like to. So then this one over here, I moved over to the right-hand side so I could add another butterfly on there. Aren't they beautiful? I would add some glitter or some Winka Stella to those butterflies too. <laughs> of course I would. And then here's the one using the Hey Chick and the Hey Birthday Chick. And I used the Ice Cream Corner Sprinkles for the top of my card. Those just make it look so festive for a birthday party, don't you think? And then this one opens up like this. with All those cute little chicks and the balloon and the birthday greeting. Have a happy day. I love it. So cute. And once again, you can keep that one open like that too. All right, so hey, if you have any questions, please let me know. That's what I'm here for. And then also 
hit that subscribe button and then click on that notification bell so you'll be notified when I have a new video that's posted. And then all the items are listed down below for both of these cards. Okay. All right. So thanks for stopping by and we'll see you later. Bye.